A step into AC Milan's museum is a journey into a rich history of football success and achievement. 18 Italian Serie A league titles and seven European Cup victories underline the club's pedigree. But following years of decline, the owner and former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi sold the club to Chinese consortium Rosaneri Sport Investment Lux for $788 million. This is a change that is uh, really so important, I think, not only for this club but for all the system of football in Europe. The expectations are very high. Uh, these new shareholders uh, made an investment that uh, in football is one of the highest in, in the history of, uh, of football, means that they really uh, will take care of this club. It's been a tough period for AC Milan. Having dominated world football for a number of years, the club has struggled in recent times. But under new ownership, there's a real hope of a return to the top. For the players, a new sense of optimism. We are excited about this change and we are curious to see what will happen from here on. And this can give us more incentive to do well and try to take AC Milan to a new height. The takeover also offers a new twist to the Milan derby, with local rivals into Milan having also been bought by Chinese investors last year. Certainly in Italy and in Europe, the Derby is a very important match followed by huge numbers of supporters. But now with the new Chinese owners, it will be followed even more, especially in China. This will add even more pressure to the game. Although expectations are high at the club, the turnaround may take time. Of course the pinnacle is, is far now so we have to be careful on that uh, we probably we need time it's impossible to do things uh, like like this in uh, in five minutes so we now are in front of our fans in front of our public uh, expected to bring back the club at the top of european football this is a club with an astonishing history but it's the future that is the focus now dan williams cgtn milan